Welcome to Daily Overdose. So they want you to come on their side. They want you to believe in their ideas of what you think of yourself. They doubt you and you believe what they doubt. Instead of you waking up from your slumber. Instead of you waking up from this nightmare of despair. And letting your opportunities come to life. It's going to be a tough time, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be rough. It's going to be some tough times and tough days ahead for you. But that doesn't mean your ideas are going to die. That doesn't mean that you stop. It doesn't mean you stop believing in yourself. You just got to keep on working. When you got people looking at you from the left side and the right side, from the front to the back, and you in the middle, just remember, everybody's watching. Just give them something to see. Let them see it. Are you watching me? Watch this. Oh, you want to stop me? You can't stop this. That's the mentality that you must have in yourself. Don't you dare give up now. It's okay. Yeah, it hurt a little bit. But I can feel it. I know what that pain feels like. And I know how to keep marching. And I know how to keep moving. And I know how to get productive in my life can't stop what you didn't create. You can hate it, but you can't dominate it, because it belongs to me. Do you realize how difficult it is to be different? Does that mean you're supposed to stop? Shame on you if you don't have enough strength within your mindset and in your heart and in your soul listen up yes I'm talking to you you've been put in a position where you ultimately doubted yourself you've been told over and over again that you're not that great you're not that good You started to believe in all of these things that you have been told most of your life. That is your fault because you have more faith and belief in the people that doubted you instead of believing in yourself. You're not supposed to start at the top. You got to grow it. You got to believe in it. I never told you that it was going to be easy. In fact, you don't deserve it. If you can't struggle for it, you don't deserve it. If you can't hurt from it, you don't deserve it. Nobody should have that much success in their lives. If they didn't put nothing behind it. We don't know the story behind the story. Yes, there are people out there that cheated their way. That ain't got nothing to do with you. You need to focus on believing in yourself. Taking pride in yourself. You do what you gotta do. You do what you need to do and feed your ideas, feed your dreams, because they're starving right now. You can't push yourself forward if all you're thinking about is the doubts and the negative things that people are saying. Because you're relying more on their ideas and their dreams of you instead of you relying on your own dreams and ideas of yourself. Why would you want to surround yourself with people that don't have ideas that are great? Why would you want to surround yourself because of a number? 
You know, a lot of people tend to wonder, oh, how many friends they have and how many people in their corner. Oh, I have a million followers. I have tens of thousands and thousands and thousands of people that support me. How many of those people do you actually know? Do you realize the power that you have right now? Even the people that don't like you, they are drawn to you. They see you, but they don't see your greatness. They don't see what you truly have inside. They are afraid of it. They don't lift it up. They don't encourage it because they're not happy. Today, recognize your true beliefs. Stop thinking that the rest of the world is against you. You have a few people that may not ever support you, but you got just one, that one person that matters the most, and that is you, my friend, you! So work, dig a little deeper, support your ideas, nourish your ideas, feed your dreams, make them a reality. Believe in yourself. When everybody turning their back on you, believe in yourself. This is it. You're not done. You're just working. And if you're working, you're growing. So keep up the good fight. Stay tight. And never quit. This is the moment of your time. This is the moment of your life. This is the reality check that you deserve. I'm not here to make you feel warm and fuzzy. I'm here to tell you the reality is real. So be real with yourself. Understand your value. Don't depreciate yourself. Realize that there is more to you than less of yourself. Keep focusing on your purpose and tell weakness to step aside because strength is coming through. Be productive. Look up and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. You're going to have sometimes low moments when you won't want to get out of bed. You just want to stay there. At times you won't want to come out the house. It's hard living. Life is hard. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. You will go through things, and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. See, the point is, you don't know how much future you've got. What's gone is gone. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Some of you have had divorces. Some of you um, have probably had bankruptcies. Some of you have had terrible things happen in the past. But what's gone is gone. It's in the past. And to spend your time focusing on the past is to spend the only thing that you've got, and that's what's right here, right now, because the sand never stops running. This is all we've got. And to spend your time now thinking of what happened there is making absolute certain that the future is going to be the same as the past. Now, I don't suppose many of us spend a lot of time thinking about that. A lot of us spend a lot of time making that error. Now, you can either accept that or you can get to work. That's all it is. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem. And you solve the next one. Whatever drama you may be dealing with, this is not the end of you. No matter what it is, it is not the end. You can't quit now. 
and the only way out is through. All you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. You gotta be bold in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. But see, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. Getting unstuck means that you are going to start living life on your terms rather than just gliding through every day on automatic that you have a special power within that you know that things are going to get better for you you know that you can handle this and because you want some different kind of results in your life you've got to decide that i'm going to go all out now listen to me i don't care what you're going through if you're not dead he ain't through with you yet as long as you waking up, you still in the game. As long as you alive, you can still make it happen. As long as that breath in your nostrils boot, you still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. Why do you keep crying? Why me, God? Why did I get MS? Why did I get cancer? Why did my mama die? Why did I get fired? Listen, you got put through that because what that does, that tension produces greatness. Stop running from it and run to it. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. We turn tragedy into triumphs. You'll never obtain any substantial measure of material wealth if you insist upon living your life as if you are looking back through your rearview mirror on your automobile. Nevertheless, it seems to be a very common error which many people have turned into a habit. Let the dead bury the dead. Let it go. I don't care how bad it was, let it go. Five years from now, ten years from now, when you look back in retrospect at that terrible thing that's happened, you're going to find it was probably one of the best things that ever happened to you. Advancement of all kinds is preceded by a crisis. The greater the crisis, the greater the opportunity for advancement. Or you could put it another way. You could say, out of all confusion comes order. A higher degree of order than that which existed prior to the confusion. Because you see, the confusion was a learning state. Remember, I was pointing out that business is fun. It really is. I see business as a game. It's a game we're playing. And we play to win. And when we're winning, we're having fun. And when we're losing, we're learning. Let's treat both of the experiences exactly the same. They're learning experiences. Now we say, remember the old adage which says, let the dead bury the dead. Stop looking back on your life and worrying about the things which have already occurred and which you can no longer alter. That's like trying to change the time you got out of bed this morning. You're never going to be able to do it. That stands for eternity. You cannot go back and change it since you cannot let it go. Pursuing that kind of mental activity will never lead to anything worthwhile, any worthwhile accomplishment in your life. You should understand, moreover, that all accomplishments in your life, you should understand, moreover, that all of the great achievers of the past have been visionary figures. They did with their life what, like Scott was saying, he does with his music. He heard it in here. They see their life in here. They're building visions of a great future. We've got a vision of a great company. We've already got a great company. We want a better one. We serve a lot of people. We want to serve more. And as we do, we receive greater rewards. And because we receive greater rewards, we become more comfortable, more creative, and we can provide more service. It's a beautiful cycle that we're in. Looking into the past is a self doom fulfilling cycle. You just keep getting it worse, worse, worse. We've all done it, so we know what it's like. These visionary figures were men and women who projected into the future, and they did not belabor over things which had already passed. They thought of what could be rather than what already was, and then they moved themselves into action to bring these things into fruition. If there were tips for success, everybody would have been successful. There are no tips for success. 
Only those who are not so successful, or those who are not successful, think somewhere if you read 10 points in a book, you're going to be successful. We need to understand this. If you want to be successful, don't seek success. What you seek is competence. If you enable yourself, and if you do something well, other people will say you're a success. If you think, I'm a success, it's foolish, isn't it? You're doing something, and you're doing it well. Other people in the town, or in the country, or in the world, people will say, oh, he is doing something really successful. They're looking up to you. That's fine. You look up to yourself. That's madness, okay? You don't seek success. You seek empowerment, you seek competence, you do it the best that you can do. You cannot do as well as somebody, but you can do the best that you can do. So if you do your best, if your best is good enough, the world will recognize. If it is not, you will be happy. So what does success look like? What does it take? Well, you know, I know family and friends who always have their breakfast on time. And after breakfast, of course, they must have coffee. After coffee, of course, they must light up a cigarette and sit there nicely because they're trying to become peaceful. And then they will go to work, come back home exactly on time for lunch, eat lunch, rest for one or two hours, sleep, then evening have one tea, and then smoke, and then again go to work. And at 8 o'clock, 8.30, they're back home for dinner, and then maybe other things, drink and this and that and whatever. But those who have been very successful, either in music, sport, art, business, spiritual process, doesn't matter what, those people never know when they ate, when they slept, when they got afternoon rest. So, those who are committed to being successful with whatever they're doing, one important aspect of their life is they're not settling down wherever it's a bit comfortable. Because comfort will happen when they lower you to in the grave. Very comfortable you are, you know. Right now, it's about ensuring that there is profoundness of experience and there is impactfulness of activity. Because if they had given you a limitless amount of time, you could do all those things. Nothing wrong, I'm not against them. But they gave you such little time with such tremendous potential of being human. That's the problem for every one of you. Your life is precious, isn't it? It's a precious life. If something is precious, where do you want to invest this life? Because what you call as my life is just a certain amount of time and energy, isn't it? As you sit here, your life is ticking away, or no? What is ticking away is not time. What is ticking away is your life. So this energy that you call as my life, how are you going to invest it? Because if you're doing something truly worthwhile, it gets over before you know what happened. Only if you're doing something worthless, it feels like a long life. Have you noticed this? On a particular day when you're very happy, 24 hours, poof. <laughs> it went off like that, like a moment. You are miserable, 24 hours feels like 10 years. Have you not noticed this? So, only miserable people will have a long life. Joyful people, life goes away like that as if it's a couple of days. It passes away like that if you are creating what you really care to create. So, one thing that every young person should do is, without the influence of the peers of your own age group, without the influence of your professors and your parents, without any kind of influence, somewhere you must stay by yourself at least for two, three days and look at it. What is it that I want to invest this precious life into? What is it that will be worthwhile today worthwhile after 50 years for me to invest myself into. You invest your life into that whatever it is, however small, big, it doesn't matter. If you see that this is something truly worthwhile and you invest your life in that, this will be a life of fulfillment.